where some mobile money transactions were conducted on the very, very day uh, Josephine went missing. Upon arrest of the suspect, he led our officers to his single room rental house in Quarry, which is located about 100 meters from the crime scene. That is the Quarry Dam, where the bodies and the body parts have been recovered. We conducted a quick search in the house, which led to recovery of the following very, very crucial exhibits. We were able to recover 24 Airtel SIM card holders with the new SIM cards, eight smartphones and two feature phones, one laptop and one two flash drives and a memory card much that we used to dismember uh, the to show this uh, very shortly similar to the ones that were half the bodies down one pair of national identification cards uh, for men and two ID cards for women. One pink female handbag, two pink female panties, five rolls of cannabis sativa, four huge clear some of which were recovered at the scene. So these ones are similar to those ones recovered from the scene. We also recovered one reflector jacket, two title deeds, two documents. On interrogation, the suspect appears to have lured, killed, and disposed 42 female bodies at the dumping site. All murdered between 2022 and as recent as last day, 11th of July, 2024. Unfortunately, and this is very sad, the suspect alleged that his facts, the first victim was his wife, namely Imelda Judith Halenya whom he struggled to death before dismembering her body and disposing it at the same site. From, his in, from our interrogation, all his victims have been murdered in the same style, like uh, we had alluded to uh, yesterday. Our investigations are still ongoing, and the suspect's house and the dumping site will remain active crime scenes. Just like the acting inspector general has said, we call upon the families who reasonably believe that their loved ones may have fallen prey to these Makapa murders, to these reprehensible acts of what I can only call a vampire to report to our DCI headquarters or to any other DCI or the nearest police station for that matter. As the DCI, we wish to reiterate our commitment to expediting this investigation, just like I said yesterday, for us to deliver quick justice to the victims of this horrendous crime. Gentlemen, like I said yesterday, we posited several theories that we were looking at. But from 
the look of things, crystallizing that we are dealing with a serial killer, a psychopathic serial killer who has no respect for human life. A psychopathic serial killer who has no respect and dignity for the deceased persons. In our interrogation, and very sad indeed, he confessed to us that with some of the victims, he was able to have carnal knowledge with some of the victims. A very, very sad state of affairs. As we were apprehending him last night, or even this morning, he was in the process of luring another victim by the name Susan. We are yet to identify. I'm sure as we progress with investigations, we should be able to get hold of Susan so that she will be able to give us her, her side of the story. Otherwise, we are dealing with a, a vampire, a psychopath. We shall uh, make sure that the investigations are very thorough, very, very professional. Any other character or characters who are associated with him, we shall go for them. And immediately we are done with the investigations, he will be taken to court to face the full force of the law. At this juncture, ladies and gentlemen, I will invite my director of operations, Mr. Maura, to briefly give you a highlight and take what we have recovered and thereafter we will be able to answer one or two questions. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. This morning, this we visited the house of our suspect, and we were able to recover to throw from him one smartphone. That is the first one here. Then we proceeded to his house, our officers proceeded to his house and uh, we recovered some other seven smartphones which are displayed as well. And then two other phones. Also in the same house we were able to recover two hard drives that we believe have got enough uh, information. In his phone that he had at hand there were pictures of ladies, photos and uh, some video videos that he had recorded. We also recovered uh, two USB and memory card. We as well recovered uh, nine ID cards, six for men and three for ladies. We also recovered um, 24 Airtel SIM cards in their holders, which he, uh, we believe he has used the IDs to register them. And these are the ones he has been using in the Commission of Crimes. We as well recovered industrial gloves, which we believe he was using while dismembering his victims. We appreciate that uh, we also recovered a rope that resembles the ones that were that one that was used to tie up the sacks. We have nylon bags, twelve of them, which as well re resemble. The, the nylon bags that uh, were recovered with bodies that were dismembered inside the dam. We have a, a, a radius pass, which we suspect is belongs to one of his victims. A reflector jacket. We have a laptop that was also recovered. We have a machete that uh, he, in the course of investigation, he confesses to have been using to dismember. We have two underwears uh, which we used to the victims. There are also 
uh, three, two title deeds that are in his name and some notebooks that he has records that we believe will be very important in the course of our investigation. He also had uh, some Kenyan money with him and uh, five uh, sticks of substance that we suspect is cannabis sativa. We have our suspect with us and the interrogation is still going on. Thank you, sir. The, yes, so finally, yes, so I had forgotten the cell tapes, four of them. Those who witnessed those victims that were corrected from the dam, there are some elements of these cell tapes which believe sometimes could have been used to tie up the dismembered parts of the body and as well to mask the mouths so that the victims do not make noise. Thank you. Kwa uh, hivyo, kama vile tulisema jana, uchugusi na ederea, na maofisasi wetu, wako atasa hizi bado wanaederea, kama vile tumesema, nao, ile nyumba, the rented room, becomes again an active crime scene, together with the dump site. Na sisi eh, kama idara ya polisi tunasidi kuwauliza wananchi waendelee kuwa watulivu wakati huu tunaendelea na kupambana na hii maneno tuweze kujua chanzo ni ipi kwa hivyo tunauliza wazidi kuwa watulifu wasaidiane na sisi kwa wale ambao wanaweza kuwa na mambo yote jabo yote Kwa hivyo inahuzikana na hii, ama mutu wabawa amepoteza mutu yake, kwa hiyo muda wabawa tumeona, anaesa tokesea. Hapa, kwa DCI headquarters, ama kitu igine yoyote ya polisi, na kupiga yu habari hapo. Sisi tukusaidia na njini, kusaidia na njini, tuna, tuna, we count on you, the members of the fourth estate, and everybody else, to work together, to support us, so that we can be able kujua nini hii na chanzo yake ni nini asante sana um, following what the DCI boss my name is Abdiaziz Ashim from KBC given that uh, the DCI boss had just clearly stated that you believe dumped in that quarry so it begs the question how can someone just act a kilo barely a kilo police office and then secondly who dropped the ball as much as we have arrested the suspects what happens to the security contingent who might not have given the proper intelligence because somebody cannot just wake up one morning and drop a body close to a police station and we have officers in this country okay thank you um, another one here okay okay my name is Walter Jam from Ramogi TV uh, the question is therefore it takes uh, several effort for such act and therefore does your lead have more suspect to follow and it also took a dream to open the eye of the DCI officers does it really require a dream for such to be established thank you so uh, thank you very much put it this way that um, as we have indicated yesterday and today these are inspe investigations that uh, we are conducting we are going to get to understand all the issues surrounding this matter because uh, the, 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 the experts are on it they are going to continue providing us with information and that is exactly why we are calling upon anybody everybody or the members of the public anyone who could be having any kind of information that can assist us to come forward and do that thank you When I'm acting IG, my name is Franklin Wala from Citizen TV. I understand there's another suspect in custody. I don't know who is this second suspect in custody and what was his role in this whole incident. Another question. You've mentioned that the first victim was Emilda Hamen. Missing person report filed about 
her disappearance and maybe what was the progress of the investigation. Have you been able to talk to the families? Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. In regard to the arrest of the second suspect, after we interrogated the, the main suspect this morning, he told us that immediately at the commission of the offense, dispose of the mobile phone to the victims, to other unsuspecting persons, at a throwaway price of 500 This morning, it is true, we arrested one suspect whom we found in possession of one of the handsets belonging to one of the victims, whose body was identified yesterday at the city mortuary by uh, the relatives. So, I've written him as an witness or as a witness, whichever way the investigations will take us. In terms of uh, dreaming, we are not dreamers, as I believe in dreaming. We are guided by professionalism. Even before the said Josephine prophesied what she proph prophesied, we had our work plan clearly cut for us. And we were doing it methodically and very, very professionally. And that's why today we were able to apprehend this culprit, apprehend the other culprit, and be able to do these significant uh, uh, recoveries. So our investigation was very methodical and uh, will continue. We are likely to arrest more suspects because we believe that uh, he was not alone in the commission of this reprehensible act and uh, very soon we'll be able to, to net them. We shall cast the net wider. Thank you. Uh, we have just gotten that information this morning. So we are digging into archives and uh, maybe in the course of the day, we'll be able to follow that, uh, uh, that allegation. Thank you.